Can you hear me, Solid Snake? He's tougher than I thought. Do you know who I am? I always knew that one day I would meet you. The man who stole the light from my life because of you! Forget it. Your body is strapped down tight. Me? Why, I'm the man from whom you stole everything good. And now, after the sacrifice of our brothers, after 30 long years, finally, the two of us meet. The brother of light and the brother of dark. Do you need his genetic information too? Yes. I want a sample while he's still alive. We need it to correct the genome soldier's mutations. Then we'll be able to cure them? No. We still have to get our hands on Big Boss's DNA. Have they given in to our demands yet? Not yet. They won't give in. They're all hypocrites. Every one of them. Is that your opinion as a Kurd? They always put politics first. That's right. That's why they want to avoid any leak about their precious new nuclear weapon. Boss, it looks like our friend is awake. There definitely is a resemblance. Don't you think, little brother? Or should I say, big brother? I'm not sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You and I are both the last surviving sons of Big Boss. It's me. Really? Then what? <clears throat> Those idiots! All right, Raven. I'll be right there. <sighs> They're not responding to our demands. We'll launch the first one in ten hours as planned. Damn Americans. Looks like you read them wrong. Something's funny. Normally, the Americans are the first ones to the negotiating table. They must think they've got something up their sleeves. So it's come down to it, has it? We're gonna launch that nuke and ride it all the way into history. I've got to take care of some launch preparations. You're in charge here, Ocelot. What about you? Wanna stay for the show? I'm not interested. It's time to feed the family. So, you prefer your wolves to my show, hmm? Ocelot, don't screw up like you did with the Chief. Yes, I know. That was an accident. I didn't think a pencil pusher like him would be so tough. Well... His mental defenses were reinforced by hypnotherapy. Boss, what about that ninja? He's killed 12 men. Whoever he is, he's some kind of lunatic. Bastard took my hand. How could he have gotten in here? Perhaps there's a spy among us. Mantis is dead. We've also got to find out what killed Baker and Octopus. We're short-handed, so make this little torture show of yours as short as possible. Torture? 
This is an interrogation. <laughs> As you wish. See you later, brother. Your woman is still in this world. Meryl. Once she picks a target, she doesn't think about anything else. Sometimes she even falls in love with them before she kills them. Finally, just the two of us. How are you feeling? Not bad. Caught a nice nap on this revolving bed of yours. Too bad I was sleeping alone. Glad to hear that. This is some bed, all right. I'm about to show you some of its nicer features. Where are my things? Oh, don't worry. They're all there. Washington was taking quite a chance sending you here. Someone must have a lot of faith in your skill, hmm, carrier boy? Huh? So, Metal Gear is armed with a new type of nuclear warhead, huh? Why don't you go ask Campbell for the full story? The Colonel? By the way, you got an optical disc from President Baker, didn't you? What if I did? Is that the only disc? There's no other data? What do you mean? There's no copy? If not, that's fine. Is Meryl okay? She's not dead... yet. Thanks to Wolf's whim. But it's up to you if you want her to stay that way. You were holding one card key. Where are the other two? What's the trick behind that key? Trick? That weasel of a president said there's some kind of trick to using the key. Hell if I know. I see. No problem then. going to play a game, Solid Snake. And we'll find out what kind of man you really are. When the pain becomes too great to bear, just give up and your suffering will end. But if you do, the girl's life is mine. Press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Don't even think about using autofire, or I'll know. Come on, I won't tell. Why don't you just give up? I'm going to run a high-voltage electric current through your body. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey, French films are all right, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But I've got some bad news for you. You're no POW. You're a hostage, 
There's no Geneva Convention. No one is coming to save you. Starting to feel a little scared? Good. You should be. Okay. Let's get started. Strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're the boss's brother, all right. Your brother. He's an amazing man. Who else could shoot down two F 16s with a chopper? The Les Enfants Terribles project was not a total failure. He is the one man who could make my dream into a reality. DARPA chief. Whew, what a stench. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Merrill? They got her. Damn. Colonel. Okay. I know. Snake, the government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear, secret advanced nuclear weapons research. Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified START II, or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the President's reputation, and America's place as the dominant superpower. So, you turn to Black Ops. Convenient. Please, Snake. Just stop them. To serve your interests? Because we're relying on you. In that case, tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before, I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see, 
Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about. The President has adopted a firm public stance vis-a-vis -vis bioethics. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? <laughs> the hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Poor man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn! Is there any way to prevent it? It seems there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. I'm sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. I caught a cold. That witch! She took my clothes! <rire> C'était toi le garde tout nu? Ah bon, bon, on a eu. Euh... On a eu, on a eu. Euh... Ben, ouais, on est en tôle. J'allais dire une connerie, mais non. Euh... Non. Je ne dirai rien pour l'instant. J'ai failli vous spoiler en fait. Je vais appeler un peu tout le monde. De toute façon, on n'a pas grand chose à faire pour l'instant. The guard is only human. He has to sleep and go to the bathroom like the rest of us. That'll be your chance. Donc, faut savoir que la séance de torture que j'ai eue avec euh, avec Oslot juste avant, euh, c'est assez particulier euh, dans le sens où euh, bah, vous avez intérêt à avoir fait une sauvegarde comme Mailing l'a dit hein, quand elle avait une intuition euh, quand elle avait l'intuition qu'il fallait sauvegarder parce que si vous ne l'avez pas fait en fait si vous perdez à la torture vous pouvez pas faire continue vous êtes obligé de charger une sauvegarde et du coup euh, du coup si ça fait longtemps que vous n'avez pas sauvegardé vous êtes baisé quoi et euh, le truc c'est que c'est que si on échoue à la torture Oslot tue Meryl, donc il faut à tout prix que je ne capitule pas. Je dois réussir à résister en appuyant sur A comme un malade. Bon, là vous avez vu, ça n'a pas posé de soucis. Et en plus de ça, je vais prendre le risque... De bah, toute façon, je vais faire une sauvegarde entre chaque, euh, parce qu'il va y avoir plusieurs séances de torture comme ça. Et en fait, je vais toutes les faire, juste pour les petits dialogues qu'il y a avec Oslot, qui sont plutôt intéressants. Snake, are you okay I feel so scared for you. It must be horrible. <sighs> I've been through a lot worse. Believe me. Wow. You really are a hero. It's a good thing the codec is connected directly to your inner ear. You can contact us anytime. It's always nice to hear that you're all right. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Hmm, j'ai déjà contacté. Please, Snake, don't give up. Master. Normally, when a soldier is taken prisoner, he should only give up the big four. That's name, rank, serial number, and date of birth. But you're not any old soldier, Snake. I don't want you to tell them anything. Fortunately, you are strong enough to resist. Nastasha. 
Just because you're locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open, and when you see a chance, take it. Tiens, d'ailleurs, j'ai pas, j'ai pas pensé à appeler Otakon. Otakon, are you still okay? Yeah, thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask. What should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? Uh, there's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Et comme je l'avais pas encore appelé, je l'avais pas encore dans la liste et du coup j'y pensais pas à chaque fois. Mais bon, heureusement que je connais sa fréquence par cœur, à ce connard. Bon. Eh du coup. Hey, shut up in there, will ya? Qu'est-ce que je veux What are you playing around with? Je m'éclate. Tiens. Shut up in there, will ya? Oui, bah écoute, hey. on se fait chier un peu. Hein. On se fait chier dans cette tôle. Alors moi, je m'occupe comme je peux. Hein. A tes souhaits du con. 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 <rire> Truc qui se répète pas. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Oh. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. I've fought wars in Afghanistan, Mozambique, Eritrea, and Chad. Among the Mujahideen guerrillas, I was known and feared as Shalashaska. I was trained by the Russian Gru. I'm not like one of those KGB slugs. To me, this isn't torture. It's a sport. You're all just a bunch of sadists. Don't confuse me with those uniformed fools. Well, shall we begin? Voilà. C'est plutôt simple. Ça va. Shall we go again? Had enough yet? Oh, we're not finished yet. Un jeu d'enfant au slot. Sad age. Imperialism. Totalitarianism. Perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. 
The hind was just a down payment. So, you're in this for the money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. Okay, Snake. Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. <sighs> Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Snake, put the controller up against your arm. What? Don't worry. It'll feel good. Huh? Okay. Here I go. <sighs> How does that feel, Snake? A little better? A shiatsu massage. How did you do that? I stimulated your muscle fibers with the nanomachine cilia. That's about all I can do for you. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. <sighs> Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Big Boss? There was no way you could know. It happened in Zanzibar land six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? It's what we wanted. Me. And him. That's patricide. Yeah. That's the trauma of my life. Just like Mantis said. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake. Is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Friends? Roy Campbell. <laughs> You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. <gasps> Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant, and the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. Didn't you try to kill each other? It's true. We did. In Zanzibar land. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven. But he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so... Cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. It makes no sense. Just violence, murdering each other. Yeah. I think so, too. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. It's your genes. They make you predisposed toward violence. 
You really like talking about genes. Naomi, why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were. Or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? I thought if I could thoroughly understand DNA, I could get back my identity. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I... I'm sorry. I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. Bon. Voilà, on a vraiment une grosse révélation euh, par rapport au scénario. Big Boss était donc le père de Sweet Snake, donc le personnage qu'on contrôlait dans MGS 3 et Peace Walker ainsi que 5 était le père de, du personnage qu'on contrôle actuellement, Sweet Snake. Et on sait également qu'à un moment donné, Solid Snake a affronté Big Boss et l'a tué. C'est quand même un gros truc dans l'intrigue. Mailing. Why don't you contact the Colonel? If anyone can think of a way out, it's him. Oui, non, mais c'est bon, c'est déjà fait. J'ai surtout besoin de sauvegarder. Hein. Please, Snake, don't give up. Putain, dis même pas de proverbe, il est nul. Don't say anything to tease or anger the person torturing you. If you make him mad, it'll be that much worse for you. You'll need to save your strength. Mm, okay. Just because you're locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open and when you see a chance, take it. Il y a plusieurs solutions hein, pour s'échapper. Otacon, I'm headed your way now. Can't you just relax? I am relaxed. I just don't know how to kill time here. Okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. Allez, on se fait chier en tôle, merde. Oh, oh, my stomach. Damn it. Alors on a la chiasse <rire> Monsieur a la chiasse Intéressant Wow, they even captured you. Hurry, get me out of here. Let me go, that hurts. Ah. Hurry up. Snake, is that how you ask a guy a favor? Let me go. An animal's cage. What a smell. Yeah, because of him. Hey, it's the DARPA chief. If you don't hurry up and get me out of here, I'll be laying next to him. Those bastards. This lock won't open with a security card. You need a key like the soldiers carry. So what are you doing here then? I... I thought you might be hungry. If you need more food, I can bring some more later.
Also, I got you this level six card. It'll get you out of that torture room. Here, take this too. What's this? It's a handkerchief. I got it from Sniper Wolf. Why? I don't know why, but she's nice to me. Sounds like Stockholm Syndrome to me. I was taking care of the dogs here. After the terrorists took over, they were planning to shoot all the dogs. But Sniper Wolf stopped them. She even let me feed them when I asked. She likes dogs. She must be a good person. Please don't hurt her. Wake up, you idiot. She's the one who shot Meryl. Well, that's all I can do. They're planning to launch a nuke. I've got to stop them. Then you'll have to get past the communications tower. First, you have to get me out of here. Come on, I'm trying my best. That guard's got the key. You'll have to take him out. Give me a break. I'm no soldier. I can't take anybody out. You have to. I'll be killed. <clears throat> He's coming back. Oh, jeez. He's coming back. See you later. Donc là, ce que je peux faire pour m'en... pour... Euh, pour m'enfuir, c'est soit me cacher sous le lit pendant qu'il est au chiottes, soit utiliser le ketchup pour m'en foutre autour du corps et faire croire que je suis mort. Mais comme dit, je ne vais pas faire ça. Je vais faire les séances de torture. Est complètement con. Eh 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 Johnny Regarde Johnny What are you playing around <rire> Voilà. C'était pour rigoler. Bon du coup j'ai. j'ai gâché ma, ma chance de, de sortir avec le ketchup hein, bien sûr. Je crois qu'il avait encore mal au bide. Ah, il s'endort. Gâché Dude, that cold medicine knocked me out. <laughs> And it doesn't even work. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Maybe if I walk a little. Anyway. Huh. Hey, baby, ça éternue, ça éternue, ça éternue. C'est un peu long quand même. Hein. J'ai envie de me faire torturer moi. J'aime me faire torturer. Ben voilà. Snake, it's showtime. Ocelot wants you. Once more, press the resist button repeatedly to regain your strength. When you've had enough, press the surrender button to submit. When your life reaches zero, the game is over. There are no continues, my friend. Okay, let's get started. Had enough yet? 
Elle commence à être longue. La barre de taille. Mais j'ai encore de la marge, hein. Eh oui. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. You're a soldier. You should understand. You and I can't continue to live in a world like this. We need tension. The world today has become too soft. We're living in an age where true feelings are suppressed. So we're going to shake things up a bit. We'll create a world dripping with tension. A world filled with greed and suspicion, bravery and cowardice. You want the same thing that we do. Liquid Snake is the one. He is an incredible man. He is the man who can really make it happen. en prison. Allez, on va appeler tout le monde, la routine. Snake, don't worry. You'll have a chance to escape. Hang on. Mmh, ouais. Ils ont plus l'air d'avoir grand chose à me dire, là, mais bon. Why don't you contact the current... Non, c'est bon, le mailing, ça suffit. Don't give up. If you get a chance to eat, don't pass it up. A prisoner can't be choosy. You need to get your strength back so you can escape when the opportunity presents itself. Just because you're locked up does not mean there is no chance of escape. Keep your eyes and ears open and when you see a chance, take it. That's all I can do for you, Snake. Vous êtes tous inutiles, tous. Je boude. Je boude, Johnny. Shut up in there, will ya? Je t'ai dit que je boude. Oh, not again! Oh. Allez, va chier en spray. Gros dégueulasse. Bon. Autocon. So, you're here to get me out? Huh? The ninja? What the fuck? <laughs> hey! Calme-toi, Johnny. T'aurais mieux fait de rester au chiot. Oh. Faut toujours que tu tentes ton cul, ch ton cul chiasseux quand t'es KO. Hein. Les affaires reprennent. Euh, 
Bien, bien, bien. Euh, je vais faire juste une mini-pause. On se retrouve juste après.